Hey YouTube, it's uh, Theodos, aka Zero, or Theodos, aka Zeref, aka well nobody. So let's get this started. Uh, this is my character Zeref as well, and he's going to be the character I use when I uh, do PvP on Twitch, because uh, that's my new Twitch name, <clears throat> which is uh, Chaos Zeref. But that's this is not a promotional video, so I don't really care. This is a boss guide video on how to kill this big amygdala. Amygdala. I've got to stop saying amygdala, amygdala. It's an amygdala like the part of your brain. Um, this is the amygdala. It's a big, big, big motherfucker. But he's not very strong, so uh, let's do this. Hit him. That's it. But what I can do is that. There we go. That's going to be a big, big, big chunk of damage. A huge chunk. really a strategy for this, honestly. It's aim for his head. Uh, bone marrow ash helps for headshots, so if you were a blood tinge build, go for that bone marrow ash. Uh, use a weapon. Oh, there is one strategy. Use a weapon that can hit his head. Um, like a big weapon, like a the the burial blade is a... Is a excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Uh, it's a fantastic weapon to Mm. Excuse me. It's a fantastic weapon to get headshots with. Uh, Ludwig's is also a very good weapon. The new church pick from the DLC, that's an amazing weapon for it. Uh, the, let's see, what else is there? The, uh, what's it called? The, the, the saw spear is pretty good. The rifle spear is good with it. Le uh, the Kirk's hammer is good with it. The and the and the hunter axe is good with it. Uh, the <clears throat> the rider palash can also hit it because of the gun effect. And if you're a blood tinge build and you're using Simon's bow blade, you can get some pretty sick headshots with that thing. Uh, which actually I should be trying because I actually have never thought about that using that for this boss fight and the defiled uh, chalice dungeon. So I should do that when I unlock the defiled. Um. What else? Let's see. I think possibly... Ah, I don't know what that was, I just got the shivers. I think possibly the Blood Letter will be able to do something. Obviously the Moonlight uh, the Moonlight Greatsword, aka the, moon the Moonlit Holy Blade will be able to hit it. Pretty much any weapon that you could think of that has really long range uh, or can shoot uh, at bullets, arrows, or energy waves out of it. Uh, you know what three weapons I've been referencing there. Any weapon like that or really powerful guns like the uh, Evelyn or I think maybe even the piercing rifle, I'm not sure though. Uh, any of those should are going to be just fucking phenomenal. Um, so yeah, uh, really that's it. If you can't hit the head, hitting the arms is your next best uh, bet. The legs you do like 50s, but the arms you do pretty average damage, it's just that you don't give visceral attacks. But I think it's uh, four headshots where the gun will send him into into a visceral if you can get four consecutive headshots. Or it's it, it's uh, it's something like that. That or it's like four bone marrow ash headshots. Uh, or no, it's one bone marrow ash headshot and I think two or three extra headshots after. Uh, it's somewhere along those grounds, but basically uh, you can do a lot of damage to him that way. 
and after you do visceral, a visceral attack to his head, he you can deal like three times the damage you normally would be able to. So really just focus on headshots if you can. Um, but uh, thank you all for coming, and I'll see you on the next boss. Bye-bye. Uh,